Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are still on the topic simultaneous linear equations in two variables. In the previous video, we took an example on solving word problems using simultaneous linear equations in two variables. In this video, we are going to take another example. So let's look at our question for the video. The question is, the sum of two numbers is negative 5. When twice the first number is added to the second number, the result is negative 2. Find the two numbers. Once again, we are being told to find two numbers. These are the unknowns. And because they are unknowns, we are going to represent them by a variable, by variables. So I will say that let m equal to the first number and the second number n. So I'm calling the first number m and the second number n. So the first number is m and the second number is n. Now with this new information, let's tackle the question again. The sum of two numbers is negative 5. What this means is that if you add these two numbers, you should get negative 5. So m plus n is equal to negative 5. That is equation 1. Let's move on to the next part. It says that when twice the first number is added to the second number, twice the first number, what means that 2 times the first number? The first number is m. So 2 times the first number will give us 2m. So let's go on. When twice the first number is added to the second number, so 2 times m is added to the second number, which is n. That means that we are going to get 2m plus n. The result is negative 2. So from here, we can say that 2 times the first number, which is 2m, added to the second number, so plus n, the result is equal to negative 2. So as soon as you list the you let variables to represent the unknowns, you can now use the unknowns to form the equations in order to solve the question. So we now have our two equations. What do we do? We solve these equations simultaneously. So that's what we are going to do. You can use any of the methods to solve this. I'm going to use the elimination method. And this is what I'm going to do. From here, I said equation 2 minus equation 1. So I'm going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Now look at how the subtraction is going to be like. It's going to be equation 1 from equation 2. So I'll take the first element, the first term in equation 2, which is 2m, minus the first one in equation 1, which is m. I'll take the second one in equation 2, which is n minus the second one in equation 2, which is n, is equal to the, the third one in equation 2, which is minus 2, minus the third one in equation 1, which is minus 5. So it's going to be minus 2 minus minus 5, and that is going to give us plus 5. Now you can see that after doing this, I'll, I have eliminated n from the equation because n minus n will give us 0. 2m minus m from algebra, we know that that is going to give us m. Minus 2 plus 5 will give us 3. So when you get here, you can use any of the methods. You can use substitution, you can use elimination, and you are going to get the answer correct. So m is equal to 3. It means that the first number, which is m, is equal to 3. Now the task is to find the second number. We know that from equation 1, m plus n is equal to minus 5 and we just found m to be equal to 3 so if m is equal to 3 it means that we can replace all the m's with 3 so m which is 3 plus n is equal to minus 5 if we make n the subject n will give us minus 8 so we have found m to be 3 and n to be minus 8 so the two numbers are minus 3 and minus 8 now you can see that these two numbers will also satisfy the condition that we're giving us. So it means that our answer is correct. Once again, you can use the substitution method in solving the simultaneous equation and you will still get the same answer. 
the most important thing is that first you have to read the statement carefully then you use variables to represent the unknowns now with the variables you form the equations then you solve the equations simultaneously thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below in the next video we are going to take another question on solving word problems using simultaneous linear equations bye bye